Hello everyone. Now for today's video, this is going to be my first ever video that I'll be recording. So we'll be working on uh, the quickest way to tie an FG knot. And in case uh, you do head out to a very windy field or somewhere where it's a bit difficult to, you know, to, uh, tie an FG knot or you don't have enough time to tie an FG knot and miss out on the action. Uh, and we'll also be working on interchangeable uh, knots or interchangeable uh, trace and uh, interchangeable uh, leaders between trace and uh, fluorocarbon. So for the first, we'll be starting with the FG knot itself. So please do notice that I'll be using a PE3 line. Uh, that's just for visibility purposes, although I do not recommend this for show fishing or anything like that. Uh, it's just for visibility purpose. So we have our braid over here. Now what we do is we start off with folding the braid a good six to seven inches and we go all the back late on top of the main line. So it's like both of them are together this way. We pinch the tag end and the main line itself. Now, now this is a three finger rule, all right? So we take the pinky finger now, that's this one over here and we go for three wraps over here, one, two and three three now this will hold the braid in position we'll do another securing wrap around this finger just to get a bit more tension on the line now we use the pointing finger and the thumb to separate the loop and create tension on this line over here this is where the FG is going to be worked at so always have your middle fingers taken out through the loop through the loop if you can see that it's through the loop so we have a braid here we'll be using a 60 LB line where it was so it's uh, pretty much visible now of course in this uh, way of uh, tying an FG knot you do not need much pressure on the main braid but you do need some pressure on the fluorocarbon so how I like to do it is Sometimes, you know, I just drop it off the table and let it hang uh, loose. That keeps a little bit of tension on the line. And if you do not have any of uh, such, uh, say, accessibilities, then um, you could just hold the roll in your, I mean, under your feet or just place something heavy on top of it. So for now, I'll be hanging it from the table. Right? Now let's start working on the FG itself. So, as you can see, I'll start off by placing the fluorocarbon line underneath the line, underneath the main line, this way. And I'll create the first knot. So I go under and through, over, and then I use the index finger to hold the line this way, and I get it through. Alright, do you get it? Now, we're going to repeat the same way, one on top, one on the bottom now we'll go for a total of five such wraps and after every five wraps we'll start cinching the knot so it's like we hold the line and push it downwards now another five and push now we keep going like this till we have anywhere between 20 to 25 knots. Now I'll end it right here because this is just a demonstration video and this is strong enough to hold at least uh, a good sized shore fish right now but still. Now once you're done with getting all the knots through this is what your line should look like. So you get the fluorocarbon pinched between in your teeth and you hold the whole knot the FG knot see it's disappeared it's gone so it's right I've been I've pinched it with my fingers now we let go of the main line braid right now we have the tag end over here and the main line on the bottom so we go for four to six half hitch knots now what a half hitch is we'll be doing it we'll be doing the half hitch over the mainline braid and the fluorocarbon leader itself so we'll go from 
the back side create a loop get the tag end through the loop and pull on to the braid leave the fluorocarbon and just pull on to the braid now that secures the FG so now on this as well we'll be alternating if you have done one from the back side the second loop is going to be placed in the front and the side that is facing you and we'll create another half hitch pinch it with your teeth and pull it close you have it in here now we'll do another for this video I'll be doing just four you could go for more if you want but I highly suggest that you know four is more than enough that's good enough and also something very important whenever you do have a line preparation always try to match the braid and the uh, leader by the weight by the weight capacity or the test so it's, let's say if you're using a 60 lb line it's good to go with a leader that is either 40 lb 50 or 60 lbs I, I would go for a 50 lb leader tied to a 60 lb braid main line right so here we have our four half hitches now this is the fourth one over here done i guess i did anyways so to end this now to finish off the whole fg the fg is strong enough right now it won't slip now we'll be finishing it off with a risotto knot now uh, please do notice that all the knots are being done on both the uh, the main line and the uh, leader so this is the tag end which is looped right over and pinched with my finger the loop this is a half loop that is supposed to be pinched with the finger you keep to keep it in place now we'll have the tag end go through the loop once twice tries and four loops inside all right we'll go around four times now once you're done going around we'll hold the fluorocarbon the leader and the tag end pinched together right right next to the fg knot all right now you let go of this end of the line you let go of the main line at the loop that was being pinched between your line now will go reverse direction with the loop so now when we had the springs coming in from that side we'll have it open slowly now you can notice how it opens slowly and you start creating a loop right on top of the fg sorry uh, a wrap on top of the fg so if you went through four times we'll go around on this loop four times as well so that's three and that's four over there sorry my bad now to close this we let loose the loop hold the tag end start pulling it in and it cinches all the way inside and it's a very smooth constant line See how beautifully that's done. Now the line's got enough strength to hold some good shocks and won't slip. Now something very important, if the FG is done very well, you'll always notice the line, the main line will change color. It changes its color to a darker shade. Do you see that how? Huh? You see the dark green over here whereas the original color of the line is completely different. Now this happens due to the friction that is caused. Now, time to trim off the excess line, the tag ends from the fluorocarbon and the main line. We'll start off with making a small slippage knot over here to prevent any uh, slips. So we'll just we'll just take the tag end. This is the tag end over here. We we'll create a loop, right? Go through it once and twice. Alright, two times is more than enough, I guess. 
and then we'll just try to push it as close as possible to the knot and you can let this free because since it's braid it won't cause any harm to your guides whereas the fluorocarbon might the tag end of the fluorocarbon might cause some damage to the line now this is something i prefer always i i do cut off i mean i chip my line off and i do try to burn it a little bit i don't really burn it i just heat it till it forms a good mushroom dough dough on top so we'll close we'll cut it as close as possible and still leave a little bit out not too much but a little bit out and i'll explain exactly why we do that so now as you can see there's only a little bit of the fluorocarbon remaining outside now that's a very small tag end now what we do is we do not exactly burn it but we heat it enough to form a dome a mushroom i hope the camera can capture this so we have our mat stick here all right now we don't really get it close to the fire with that mean very close to the fire but just close enough to have that dome formed i don't know if this is visible but can you see the dome that has been created on top now this dome will stop and prevent the line uh, the main line from slipping and uh, opening the knot so you know that's the final result you have i mean in case the fish is too aggressive and the fg does fail you'll still have this dome giving you the last remaining uh, little bit of strength to you know hold on to the knot so here we have our fg which is strong enough we'll cut off the excess uh, tag end right after the knot the slip knot that we did and please keep in mind always do try to burn the tag end of your braid because they have micro nano fibers and uh, you know the, these tend to open you know when you cut them off these tend to open and that might cause the line to weaken a little bit all throughout the knot itself and uh, it causes the knot to loosen up too all right so here we have our fg all right so we are done with the fg knot here and now we'll be discussing how to create uh, interchangeable knots that allow you to switch between uh, fluorocarbon and uh, trace you know sometimes you're out in the fields and you suddenly see a pop of kingfish uh, you know maybe two thick great uh, critters like barracudas running around and you want to chase one of them off so you need a metal trace or a steel wire trace so we'll be talking about the interchangeable lure knot over here so it's pretty much simple and it doesn't involve uh, any complicated knots and stuff and this is a very uh, useful knot since you know at sometimes you are out there in the fields and uh, there's a lot of action going off going on and we have a lot of line breaks and line cuts and we want to get back into the action as fast as possible and tying a fg knot you know with the wind blowing and you know with the action going on you know it just uh, takes a bit of time and to avoid that uh, what you could do is you could have um, pre rigged lines like this one over here now I've uh, rigged it on a um, solid ring not a split ring now the reason I do not use a split ring is because uh, split rings do have uh, sharp edges and sharp ends and that might uh, fray the line or you know cause a break so yeah sp uh, solid rings are pre pretty much very smooth and they're easy to tie on and they have a lot of uh, room to you know allow the line to move around as well without uh, damaging it in any way so yeah now now for the knot itself it works pretty much the same as how we did the fg knot we take the line fold it get it back uh, get back laid over on the main line now what we do is we do the same thing again we pinch the tag end of the line and the main line and uh, we just hold it like this and we, ma we make a loop right and we go through and out of the loop twice so this is the loop right here now we go through this loop once twice and you could go for three loops uh, as well it's fine 
I mean you could go for anywhere between three uh, two to four loops that's more than enough and then you close the knot all the way in like that you cinch it all down pull the lines from both the ends together now what this does is it calls uh, it causes a lock knot over here now this uh, is not going to move it's pretty much very stationary now and it won't slip or move anywhere so you end up with this loop over here all right now how is this loop useful now let's say i was playing on a meta on a steel wire and suddenly i see something that's uh, going around and i need to scan the water use a jig so all i do is i bring out the fluorocarbon leader that i previously made all right and then I just put it through this loop over here. So I have this loop with me, right? This loop over here. Now I pinch it and I get it through this split ring, right? And then once I get the loop through the split ring, I get the wire through the loop and then just pull it all down together like this. And you close it all right now how is this interchangeable because this is pretty much very locked and it's it's got a good uh, strength to hold on to and once you plan on you know removing the line or going back home or packing the reel you know it actually works on a vast variety of uh, situations so all you do is you reopen the loop from the end and get it and then you pull the line out the same way you put it in through and here you have them both separated and you could get back to using your steel wire or this trace thank you very much for watching this video and if you did find it very useful i mean this is my first time and of course i did make a uh, few mistakes but please i would request all of you to overlook those mistakes and uh, just look at the education part of uh, the video uh, do uh, provide me with your feedback comment on the video tell me where what should I improve tell me anything that you feel is uh, worth the share and worth uh, letting me know or whatever your emotions or fear reactions are to the video and uh, any suggestions for future videos that I might uh, try to help you out with now, of course I'll be making a lot uh, making a lot of uh, videos uh, related to knots lines uh, spooling your reel and then eventually get, getting out to the fields, uh, patterns, how to take, how to work your lures and stuff. So I'll be going through a lot of things. This is the first video itself. So kindly do uh, share this video if you find it interesting. Tag your friends to it. Uh, also drop some likes, press the bell icon uh, so you get notified when I make the next video. Thank you very much.